Jetzt ist es everywhere. Hey guys. Oh man. This is getting so dense. Uh... You, 
I'm using the witching just because uh, there's extras. Otherwise, I'd have to steal through this. this. Squids and squids and no steel is uh, not the case. Like every single one of these chests are just poorly positioned. Definitely, I mean, there definitely is a pattern that you see. Like, if like if you see with traps, if you if you do sight, you tend to see like the same traps over and over and over on a on a floor. I mean, I don't I don't know if it's happened to you guys before, but I've noticed that like way too many times for it to be like like a, just a pure coincidence. So. I mean, I, again, I don't know if it's just me, but I, I have noticed that a lot of times when I do sight that, like... Well, also, like, sometimes in the early floors, when, when, you're, when you have a higher chance of stepping on traps, like, you tend to, like, not only pop, like, one lure, you pop, like, multiple lures or something like that. It's like, like, I get it. Like, you think there would be a variety, I mean, it's, it's one in five, but then for some reason it's like the entire floor is just two traps, so... <laughs> And then, and then of course, for me anyway, uh, you just encounter like if you pop one mimic on the very first chest, like you're probably popping like at least two more. So. Oh 
I hate doing you know. Witching to cancel the malice. Also, I'm eating a really, really strong poison, which isn't helping. Hopefully, we can actually cancel the malice, because if we, can if we don't cancel the malice, then it's kind of good. I know there's a witch in here. So watch, like there's one mimic, I bet you I may pop one more in this floor. Just because of RNG. And that chest is in such an ass and I'm spotting it. I can at least I think I, if I did say that, I, I forgot, but a lot of times, like I know one of the strats I'll use is I'll use Sight because, um, seriously, like, this is just ridiculous, I can't fight that, um, it's because I don't want landmines, and landmines are always nice to have, speed sensor. Yeah, Garen, you see my, uh, see my Machinist video? A lot of little, a lot of little crap. I didn't think that was close enough. I'm not trying to get that chest. But I can also fight it because I don't have poison on me. I, I should be able to actually get the thing through the door. Ooh, ooh, okay. Well, Thanks for the follow, Enemy Wolf, on the next one. I'm actually gonna wait 30 seconds, or I'm gonna wait about 20 seconds for my spin to come up. Um, to kinda get to that petrify. Now, why I didn't touch that chest before when I pulled the seedling? Well, because if it was Mimic, I would've popped, I would've hit both. Yeah, if I was on voice, I would've, it would've, you would've heard a lot of banging. Um, a lot of cursing, and then, and then not only that, like, and then, and then you would have heard more cursing because of my score. <laughs> I was just like so pissed I died, first of all, and then I looked at my score and like, you gotta be kidding me. Like, all I had to do was just use all my items and I would have taken first place. So. Time is pretty bad, but it's okay. I kinda made it up on this border. 13 minutes for two points. <coughs> you made it to 60 here, Magoo. 60's, 60's, uh, 60's a good spot to stop, because it really just gets harder in 61. Um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's interesting solo. Um, yeah, maybe. <laughs> I'm pretty. I'm pretty calm, even like if shit goes down here. So. Come on. <laughs> all right, all right, guys. You got me, haha. -ha, you got me. I'm gonna blow up the for this. I'll probably push all three of them before um, my steel goes down. That's okay. I'll probably just kill it. Whoop, that's not the right button. Alright, 
Alright, I'll just have to take that. Oh, I hear something coming in too, anyway. Oh, yeah, good thing I didn't pull it. <laughs> that would have been, uh, been a little complicated. Level and Red Mage. Red Mage is probably the one, the only job that can really. Well, it's built for this type of content, so it's probably the only one that's gonna clear it. At least from so far with the jobs that I've tried, that, that seems to be the case. Um, but we shall see. Ali got, Ali got to 91 on Sam right now. But, um. I, I'm just not too familiar with the 70 toolkit of Samurai 2 again. Like, I can imagine Monk would get high. I'm really familiar with Monk. Monk did really good powers. Choose Monk as, as my top stuff. Yeah, I, I, yeah. It kind of stinks that you need 61 to do this content, in my opinion. Um, yeah, like pals, you can do it at like one. Although, although it's kind of crappy to go as a job, but still, I'm gonna prioritize the chest before I prioritize the thing. So then, let's see if I can get the thing. And I'm not gonna get that. I'd rather not risk it. I'm gonna kill the uh, the jellyfish and then hope I can get around that squid that's on the other side. I mean, it's Stormblood content, I guess. I mean, you, I guess you can't be there. I, I guess you can't be in Stormblood unless you're 71. But, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. So hopefully, uh. No, oh, fuck. Hmm. Okay, I have a strap. Nice. Um, well, hopefully I can get a good a good set here, so you can see the higher floors on a solar run. Um, but we shall see. We'll see how my RNG goes, because it's, again, it's been it's not been good. Um, now I do need to go back and get that glitching. It's not too far. After at least after this set of floors, everything gets a lot easier, unless there's squid running around. The squid, the, the problem with the squid is that one, they're hard to kill without steel. They get very complicated, and and I've already attempted a number, a numerous amount of times to kill them without steel, and it's just complicated. Um, <laughs> and the and the other problem is their sound. So like if they're standing in the middle of the room or like by a doorway, you're just not getting around them, and that's just kind of BS. So that's why like I'm I'm killing them very safely with, with witching and then with uh, with steel prioritize with steel. I can handle them with steel. Without steel, it's just too much damage. Oh, I push that man. Red mage is fun to solo in my opinion. Like I'm gonna steal that. That's good. I did, um, oh damn, the witching was here. Oh, I should check the chest first. Jesus. Um, I did, I did summoner. Summoner, summoner did, did pretty well. It did about, I mean, it has a lot of tools in solo with Titan, but Titan is very squishy. Um, so I don't know about 91 plus, but at least you can get to 90. Still squids floating around. Where's that chest? Double strength. But I'm going into a control. Okay, that's just safe. Flowers sound. Can't cheese it. <laughs> It only shoots so much far and he's consistent damage, but you can still kind of kick your ass with that steel. 
that. Um, like a like a cure in between is good enough. I'm gonna check this room real quick to see if there's a should be able to get across. Oh, three strength, wow. Okay. Well, I'm gonna pop one now. Ah, but the thing's blocking now. Okay. We're not gonna waste time. I'm not gonna wait for it. I got a steal on the on, on the previous floor, so at least I can I can kind of put it here. Uh, you definitely don't want. I mean, in my opinion, you don't want skipping chests, even though they could be. If, if you're gonna string mimics, though, that would like the floor. You can you can probably skip the chest on the floor, but I don't know. Skipping chests. I think I think you're gonna get punished more than than rewarded. There's just nothing there. Oh yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm technically focusing on Twitch, but uh, God, three detonators in a row. I mean, I'm technically focusing on Twitch, but uh, I mean, I have, I have the thingy that allows me to stream to everywhere, so I figured, you know, I, I have a mixer account, so I might as well. Oh damn, I didn't even think about. I didn't even think about that. I'm gonna look back. Get a big advantage for it. I mean, it'd be nice to, to kind of create like a like the following on a uh, on mixer, but I I only really predominantly do this content, and then if, if I kind of finish this content, I'll be back into PvP. I don't really do much else in terms of streaming, so it's just pretty much just PvP and this. But PvP can can be. And that can be ongoing for a long time, especially when the season starts. I'm just, you know, I don't really do other content. PvP can last like months. So I didn't use the. Did I use the fortune? I didn't use the fortune. The risk. Eh, yeah, that's fine. I still like it. I can't use crap. Which doesn't really help. Was that what it is? I don't remember how it, how it when I set it up on restream. I think it's just the fun. I think it's just the base. And I guess that does matter, right? Like it does actually make a difference. I mean, I, I've said it a couple times on stream on, on stream before, but like, I mean, mixer. I, I mean, mixer. I'm sure is going. The one the one thing I really liked about mixer was that that whole ability to kind of pull off co-op stream and do like a like a party stream with, with Twitch still like you still can't do that on Twitch. That that's like you can do it on multi-twitch but it's not the same thing. It's just it's just loading like X amount of screens on one browser whereas in, in Mixer you can have one stream host like three to four people playing like a like a split screen which I think is, is a really nice concept. Yeah, it's three 
before he's leaving. A lot of these enemies are like pretty easy to kill, even if I aggro and save. Yeah, this is like an easy, easy set. It lasts. It lasts up until you you pop. You get the thing, basically. So, I mean, you can pop into floor one, and and if you never touch the never touch the yellow the yellow little thingy, um, the buff the, the buff will always be there. Now, if you if you go to the yellow thing, right, and then uh, <coughs> you spawn the chest, the intuition will go off. But like, you could actually still like if you if you spawn the chest, if you just spawn the chest. And you don't pick up the chest, your intuition buff will go away, and you won't actually collect the thing. So, so you have to make sure that you kind of remember to pick it up. Sometimes, like, it, it's probably very rare, especially in an LP, that you pop the chest and then forget to pick it up. In in solo, it's a little bit more common, although it still is pretty rare because um, you might you might like pop one and then you might see the enemy move towards your direction, and you probably just have like just enough time to pop it, and then you have to come back to it or something like that. Um, because obviously you have to be careful with aggro and stuff, so... But it, it would show up on the map, like, it, you would see the symbol uh, next to the lock key that the, that the chest is still on the floor, but the intuition buff will go off. So it triggers when... so it basically triggers when, um, you pop the... You, you, you spawn the chest, just not when you pick up the chest. That could be made that clear. Like here, like the enemies here now, just like way easier. Like it's even with that was flight. Is that flight? Well, that was flight. I wonder. Yeah, of course, this is squid. Why would there be a squid? He's like mine. I kind of made up some time there between those two floors, so that should be good. <laughs> uh, I'm actually probably gonna clear that out though. Because um, I can use the time. Of course. I'm gonna take the time instead of having to kill things. So this was an alteration, so there's probably a chance that God that's four. Four detonating chests. I guess I'll take the I'll, I'll take that over um, actually I'm gonna check this chest first before I check the other things. If this is a mimic, I can just cut it back for a long time. Safety. Oh, that might. Like... Alright, we're gonna check the other one first. Oh, I am a Cactor Aether. <coughs> no, Aether Cactor. I'm, I always get very cautious about the fact that I have less serenity. Oh, yo, this looks like this is nasty. I got the reason that was. Got to steal back pretty good. Uh, oh, got new strength. Oh, that was a note boom. Oh, cause four chests. That was a note boom. Damn. All right, so that's actually that was worth it then. We got we got the steel back, we got the strength back, we got a raising back, so that's super super good. I still need the serenity though. It's always scary when I don't have serenity. Uh, 
can't predict fortune. Primal Vampire. I was attempting to make a make a primal app alt for PvP, but I just never got to it. My only other like alt on another data center is Chaos. And and, and it kind of works out because with, when it comes to PvP, uh, I mean you can't like the, the community doesn't play PvP all day round. So you gotta wait till like, you know, like for the prime time quote unquote hours. So chaos being six hours later, it can kind of work out if I'm online six hours earlier. So primal like how I see it with primals, like I'm, I'm it's still a it's still a North American server, so if I'm standing if I'm dedicating time to Aether, I I have to split between two North American servers on a week. That would be my thing. Now this is gonna be dangerous. I gotta be very careful. Oh man, this looks like the set of wow, wow. <laughs> oh boy, tell me the exit's not here. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. If the exit was there, I would have giggled like pretty hard. All right, so we got three patrols here. Just gonna wait for them to move by. Yeah, if you need, if you wanna, I can help you out. You can that's more my turn. Well, this and PvP are basically my drugs. So. I mean, no item is going to be so dangerous here. I gotta be really careful. It should be okay, but. If I find a. Man, if I find a petrification, that would be so, so god. I'd have to use the serenity to. I need a serenity. I was saying this looks like the set of floors that, that killed me on um, on Machinist when I was doing 71 to 73 and then ironically enough you get an entire treasure room of uh, Mimics. Just like yeah, by the way we killed you on another job. At least these are not too bad. This would be this would be painful to deal with. Oh, the jellyfish should be way easier. I can deal with this mimic without steel, but not without items. to watch a little bit on my my curing until it starts doing malice again. Okay, now having one serenity is just not cool at all. Like like if I get another bad set of enhancements or debuffs then we're in real trouble. What I will do is I will kind of sit, I will ride this a little bit, the box, until probably the next floor, just in case like there's a chance I'll pop another mimic. So. Oh, I opened the thing. Okay, that's not bad. I, I actually thought I had to kill more, but I guess, but it wasn't a fight. You know? Steel, oh that's beautiful. I'm gonna pick that up later. Yeah, it's it's actually it's especially dangerous with solo. I mean not not only for the damage down, but because sometimes you, you have kind of this mental this mental um conditioning about like the damage that you'll take and, and how much could possibly kill you. Now that you're not getting any heals from the normal part of it, uh you may take more you may be Putting yourself in a lower risk of HP than you intended to, it could get, it could get kind of scary. I will, I will ride this pox though until as long as I can. I don't want to, don't want to burn anything out here. And then again, my serenity is gone, so it's super risky. That's nice. I can take the risks. Having steel does help too.
never hurts to have extra reason. Well, I mean, pretty much like all the items that, that all the commanders have very, very good uses, which is, which is really nice. Unlike palace. <laughs> Unlike palace of the dead, where there are some commanders that are very, very situational. I mean, yeah, the commanders here are situational, but there's situations in which you can use them a far greater. Oh, nice. Okay, I'm gonna wait for my sprint to come up, and we'll take that free floor. I'm gonna start from here and run. Okay, um, you had to move. I've seen that many chests blow up in one set. I'm definitely also in need of the a pot sure it's like really bad because my my number right now is not good. Like I need I need a I need a good amount to pick up on the way or else if I do reach 91 it's it might be a little dicey. Nice to see all the uh, all the different all the different uh, streaming hubs showing up. So YouTube and Mixer showing up. Twitch is always there, but you know, see the other ones is kind of cool. I wish the music was a little bit lighter. It's always like the depressing music. Kind of the, the back end good part about Pox a little bit is like if I pop another Mimic, although in this set the Mimics aren't too too dangerous, uh, like at least like I'm, I, I didn't waste any items to get rid of it, so to get rid of the Pox. That's kind of a, a, a semi a semi plus side too. Let's see what else. I'm gonna definitely pull cool now while I have the buffs. Actually wouldn't have aggroed. <laughs> 
guys don't have critical vision. It looks like I have to kill quite a bit to get rid of this set. some time for the for the enemies to register your position so don't like uh, like try not to just run up to a chest and then immediately hit it because there's a chance that you think you might not have aggro and then all of a sudden aggro so. I can make it I can make one It's like one more. And this is it for the support, so that's what we get. Nice. We actually made really good time on this set of holes. I mean, 69, 90 minutes left, that's, that's, that's actually really, really good. And I still have the strength up, so not having to. I mean, I didn't get my serenity back, which is not not good. I'm really really concerned with that. But my other items are pretty solid. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I mean, even even if like even in that instance, um, I got the magic side kind of after I already cleared the floor. It's still, I mean, it's still positive. If you get it early, it's a free. I mean, you, you, it's a free clear. So it's super super good. But you, you definitely don't want to think like you don't want to overthink it and think like okay, well I have three, so we should burn one with the chance that you'll get like that's the likelihood of you getting one of the floor is so is so rare to begin with. That, that was my first magic side and probably. Like 30 something floors. So, um, but it, when you get it as a, as the fourth magicide, it's always it's always really nice. No matter no matter the situation, late really.
Yeah, it, 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 it minifies you, or it minimizes you, whatever you want to use. And um, <clears throat> when it does devour, it'll, it'll basically cancel out that damage. However, if you're in mini, for any other point other than that one move, you're gonna take like a significant amount of more damage. Because because you're smaller, you take more damage, something like that. So you're you're using it only for Hound of Hell. That's it. And then you step out of it because any other attack that hits you, whether it's a melee attack or a, or that, it's you're you're gonna get just utterly destroyed and get demolished. So you have to just use it for that one move. In um in LP or light party, when you're with a group, it'll pick one target to do it, so only, only that one target needs to step into the circle. Um, and you have to be careful, because uh, when the next cycle when I have it, uh, kind of pay attention to the how big the line is. You just like, you just don't want to kind of like get other parts of your group like hit with the same line. Like they really shouldn't be anywhere near the thing to begin with, unless they're the target. But it's still a very big line that you could accidentally get hit by. But it's a it's a long enough charge. Charge it. Because look how big the line is. It's humongous. So like anyone standing like directly left or right of me is going to get hit by it. So you just got to make sure that you're just not near it. If it only hits one person, um, and then you just step out immediately. Now, uh, if depending on what kind of healer you're running, assuming you're running a healer. Um, if you're running like a Scholar or a White Mage, or actually any healer, and they have shields, if you shield right before the Devour, um, it'll kind of negate the damage and, they, and the person won't get stunned. But you just gotta be careful because if you... The Sound of Hell will, will basically just stun you and not really kill you. Well, if you're not in the mini thing, it'll kill you. But if you're in the mini thing, it won't kill you. And then Devour is the one that you're also blocking. So let's say you get hit by, let's say uh, you have a Scholar, or let's say you have a White Mage and they do uh, Divine Venison on you, and then you get hit by Hound of Hell. Uh, let me explain it when, when I get to when I do it. I'll do it live here. So okay, so Relation goes off. Okay, let's say uh, the White Mage does, does Divine Venison right now, okay? What it'll do is that instead of me getting stunned, it'll it'll just kind of block the damage and make it zero. So then you're not stunned. But if because you're not stunned and you step out of this circle before devour, you're gonna die. So you just have to be careful that if you kind of do the kind of an, an advanced strat like that to kind of to kind of prevent the stun, that you don't step out too early, you will die. Really, the only benefit of it is because the stun is like like three seconds. At least you kind of and allow your DPS to do a little bit more damage. Not that you really should be concerned about time. Um, it's probably more of a strat for like uh, solo, like if you're a solo healer, so that you can you can not waste like a minute because you're probably going to be going through that cycle like I don't know, like 10, 20 times as a healer. So at least you can save that save that time for DPS. If that makes sense. Like this Hound of Hell move, if you're not in this circle, it'll kill you. It does a stun. That stun, and then it follows immediately with Devour, and Devour will also kill you. I think, I think probably you can survive Hound of Hell. Maybe, I'm not too sure. Um, but you definitely won't survive Devour. Because you're not in the circle, you can't get in there. Kind of uh, a, a kind of a mechanical thing. But usually, when you when you're mini, um, your damage should reduce. Like any other form of, of getting mini, your damage will reduce. 
but in this in this specific instance, your damage is actually not reduced, so you can still do full damage. Kind of a little thing. Because I kind of, when I was first doing this, I kind of automatically assumed my damage is less, so I definitely didn't want to stay in the circle too long. Not that you would anyway, but um, then I noticed my damage is kind of going really Okay, so it's just a serenity that was really bad. Um, but I pretty much got through with that with a really good amount of items, and with actually usually I'm I'm a little bit I'm a little bit starving for time, but this time I, I actually had a really good amount of time, so that's nice. So hopefully we can continue that. We're gonna keep going here. Next set of floors. Okay, so this is one of the key floors. Um, hopefully I get some good RNG because I want to have as many pulmoners as possible going into 81. That would be super super ideal. Also a good set of enemies that spawn because there's only a, a few things here that I can handle without steel. Oh, I'll get one stone in the back, that's nice. That's one of them, I can do that without steel. Oh, nice steel. Okay. Thanks for the follow talk with him. Appreciate that. Okay, I'm gonna take advantage of these enemies that are standing right in front of me to, to, to kill them. Well, kind of my, my, my goal here, my game plan of, of how I'm gonna handle these floors is pretty much just handle the first set of floors with as little pullman uses as possible. And then you start and then we start backending a lot of my pullmanders. Uh, like we like the last three floors uh, I'm definitely gonna be using Petra and all that, so. Hopefully we get good RNG on those set of floors, um, but it's, it's kind of like that's just how it is. Like at least this way I don't burn a lot of my my regular floor clearing type of commanders um, early on. That would be pretty good. So, so it is kind of dependent on how I do with RNG here. Yeah, the, yeah, I mean, 81 obviously gets more intense, 91 is really, really, that's not good. I don't know if I can kill this without steel, I have to be careful. That's good. Okay, now you have to be very, very careful. One things I cannot handle without uh, without steel. I can't do it. And that's really good. I gotta be very careful that I don't aggro it. I see a tiger coming. That's one enemy I also cannot handle without steel.
Oh crap. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. I ran to that the middle left floor without even paying attention. I could have stepped like that. Maybe just need one more, maybe. Right, I gotta make sure I don't do that again. Holy crap. See, I, I always like I always kinda have these like lapses of judgment. It's really annoying. I make these like dumbass mistakes. It's fortunate I didn't suffer that time. Ghosts ahead are sound, um, so kind of if I if I if there's a chest there, I probably will just have to ignore it because I don't want to waste time having to kill them. I, I mined it on the on its way back. Again, this is one I don't want to deal with with that steel. I have to be just very, very aware of where it is that it's behind me. I think there's another one floating around somewhere. Deer is facing in a bad direction. I can't go to that one right now. I mean, if I have to, I will. I will start popping my stuff. It's just again, I I, I really don't want to. Okay, two ghosts here. I'm shoot. Everyone's gonna shoot. It doesn't move in my direction. Where's the exit? Not here. Shit! There's that one instance where, like, I would have popped the chest and, and kind of risky. I would have not done anything with it. Uh, I'm gonna have to aggro one of them. Be very careful. I might aggro. I can kill it. It's just. Yeah, okay, that's fine. That tiger that I'm worried about. might be bad. Okay, this is really bad. And I got the tiger. Yep. Oh god, I used the wrong item! Okay. I just used the item I didn't want to use. Serenity. 
the tiger kind of aggroed like really far away. That was kind of unfortunate. I don't want to go too far away from him because he might do the corner. I think that was 10 minutes on that board. It's okay. But bringing the serenity is not good. Let me get through this side. Uh, no, it's okay. The, this this is okay because I'm gonna I'm I'm back ending a lot of my items, so it's okay. I have to concede, and I can't check that chest because if it's a mimic, I'm put. Well, Yolo. Oh, <laughs> good. <laughs> Oops. I back end my items, so. Yeah, you're gonna see you're gonna see the first set of floors, like the first three year or something are gonna be like mega mega slow unless I get lucky. Um oh yeah, that's great. Yeah, the perfect time I could use some energy right now. But I don't wanna burn it all out. I think I might counteract actually with frailty instead of the serenity. Still gonna be super dangerous though. And I'm gonna lose my thing. Okay. Where are you going? That way? This is kind of dangerous though, in terms of my position. I'm gonna counteract the gloom with with, uh, with frailty in this point instead of using the serenity. So no go, like like it doesn't matter like what it is, it's just you don't do you don't deal with wolves. They are no go in solo guys. Yeah, it would have been what would have what would have what I would have basically done is a sack pull. Like I would have just aggroed everything and then died. Like that's pretty much it. And and honestly that probably would have been a bad idea because the ghosts are there. Um, so it would have been sound aggro. It would have been it would have been not nice. Uh, I would have had to burn like double double raising and just all kinds of all kinds of all kinds of bad. But you know, YOLO! <laughs> and I got the conceal back, so sometimes you just gotta gotta roll the dice, you know. My uh my last attempt though I did, I did that, I did like a YOLO to the exit, there was like two kind, like, there was like two chimeras, and I went for a sack to like purposely like aggro and then die, and then what happened was like, it killed me, but then I was on top of the exit and where it parked itself again, was like near enough for me to aggro, so it aggroed me, I had to use another raising, I, I got to a corner before it killed me again, and then it aggroed again, and then I had to find another, I had to go to the hallway to make sure I didn't die again, so I burned like, to be raising on, on, on an attempt to go to an exit, I'm like, well, that happened. <laughs> um, Alright, I'm gonna take care of the deer. I'm gonna take care of the deer right now, while there's still gloom. Uh, while there's still the frail things on. I can take care of the bombs.
These are scary. Um, even though they only do like one thing, they're not fun to deal with. That's weird. Oh my god, don't do that when I'm hitting chests. Jesus. You trying to kill me? You trying to kill me? That's a lot. I can get around this ghost the other direction. Huh. Nope, I cannot get around that ghost the other direction. But at least I don't have to worry about positioning. So I'm gonna check the other chest because anything would be good. Uh, bombs looking in the direction. Don't move. Good, good boy. Steel, nice, fresh steel. And mine is running out too. That's one reason I don't like skipping chests. Like people, people are kind of debating. Oh, I think palace. It's a little bit of a different story, but I don't really in, in heaven on high. Like try your best not to skip chests if you can, because it's just what you can get and what it could, what time it could save. Sometimes it's just well worth the, the effort. But it depends on the risk. Like a lot of those enemies are all sight enemies, so I can kind of get around them. They're all in good positioning. Also, they wouldn't like if I aggro, they wouldn't be too bad to kill. So it's a bunch of factors that go into it. So now I got I got a fresh steal. I got flight on the next floor. I can save in. Maggie, congrats on the clear. Also, thanks for tuning in. Although I'm upset that you didn't that you didn't uh, get a higher score. I warned you. I warned you to get a higher score. You listen. Oh god. Alright, well this is pretty complicated. Okay. Alright, Tiger. I'm on over here. There's nothing to see. Don't turn this way. Oh! <laughs> uh, good thing they don't look when they turn. That is one thing I noticed that they 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 tend to not, you know, like humans. You know, when we're when we're turning from left to right, we see what's what's on our what's on our sides. They just go. That, and that's kind of fortunate. <laughs> if it looked in my direction, it would have been that good. But I think it's more, I think they actually do look in the direction, but I think it's more about like the, the amount of time the server takes to, to register my position or something. Alright, I remember this is a flight. Oh, another flight. Okay, that's really good. So it's saving time here. <laughs> I'm gonna. Well, now that I saw you clear, I'm probably gonna be pushing Red Mage pretty hard now. Like I've been kind of, I've been kind of like dicking around on other jobs, and then I got really pissed off because my White Mage and my Machinist run both. Well, the one who's sitting first place in White Mage like got a really really good score, so yeah, that was really hard to break. But my Machinist is gonna. Be I don't talk about Machinist. Man. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I should have been first place. If it wasn't for. Uh, mimic, mimic, mimic bill. And for some reason, like I don't know what the mechanic was that I was having issues with the machinist, but like, like I was handling, I was handling mimics on board, like no problem. But for machinist, for some reason, I just like I just couldn't do it. Like I don't, even, I don't know why it was hitting me more than it should have. It's so weird. Oh my 
my god, why aren't you picking Okay, let's make one more. Yeah, it's like it's really irritating when you have a mental when you have a mental knowing of like when it's supposed to do things and then I think what was happening on Machinist was because I was kiting the whole time. Um Oh my god. Because I was kiting the whole time, like I was just I was apparently just far enough that it wasn't using death trap. So it kept hitting me when I was when I was expecting it to use death trap and then it just killed me. Like it like I was like really? Like like I, I never actually had that really happen before. I always like it always caught up to me in a sense so that I would so that it would use death chat, but it's like oh my god. And that's what happened to me on my, my last red mage run, I think, on eighty eight. I was expecting oh no that's a death I was expecting it to do a to do death trap and it ended up doing an extra global and it killed me. Like if it used death trap I wouldn't survive. That's how that's how crappy it was. Tiger. I'm actually gonna go ahead of it. I need to check the other room, and then I should beat it on the way back. Um, well... <laughs> I mean, I mean, I would say it's the same as Bard. Um, but it's just that I, I've never played Machinist... Wow, it's a no chest. I've never played Machinist on, um, in PvE before, so I was learning it on the spot. And it was kind of... Oh, fuck, that's not good. We're gonna have to listen. So I was kind of learning it on the spot as I was going. And it had to be an end, of course. I mean, I killed this in time. Oh yeah, this is bad. I think... I think I'm gonna sack. Uh, I have raising up, but I'm gonna sack this. Oh, I can bind it, please. Oh shit, it's still down. Uh, this may not be good. May not be good. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> that was an interesting scenario I put myself in. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was an interesting scenario. Good thing it's uh good thing it's sight. Okay. Next room is also a boy. Well, I I honestly didn't calculate the bind. Also, yeah, I knew I was gonna run into it, and then, and then, like, oh, stop with the gloom! It's just this thing is teasing me that that I that I burned my serenity earlier by accident. And I definitely actually don't want to burn this one more so because this is a flight. I actually remember this one. A lot of times I just forget. Oh yeah, with gloom it's it's a little bit of. I know I can handle all these, all those I can handle with that. But with with gloom it's a little bit. I'm not in the mood. And I can just carry it into the next step too. And I got to steal back anyway. 
And then we got mammoths. How many mammoths did we got? I saw another one. Damn wolves. I did safety, right? I can get to that chest, I think. The wolf just moved, so I have a little bit of... No, that's too risky. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna deal with the, uh... The mammoth. They're in really bad spots. Just gonna check it again later. Oh god, I, I got everything back. Nice. Okay, let's see if I can get to the chest over here. I mean, wolves are just nasty either way. Like even even on bar, like it's just too much damage. You can't stop all that damage. Yeah, I got it back, so that's nice. Could use a conceal to check that chest. Which I think I might do. And I'll deal with the deer. Although, if this thing uses Spear Stoic, I'm kinda effed. Looking at the chest again, got a piece of, piece of crap man. I just like how they kind of made it, made it a conscious effort that the wolves were like, obviously like one of the enemies you don't deal with in Palace, and they're like, oh, you know what? We'll just, we'll just put the exact same type of enemy in, in heaven on it. Yeah, war is interesting. War might be very interesting. Uh, I'm definitely gonna do it soon, but after Red Mage, because I'm, I'm not gonna delay Red Mage anymore. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go until I clear, basically. No more detours. still kind of behind on time, but it's okay. Either, although I haven't really picked up anything that kind of can speed me up, so that's not that great. It's keep giving me debuffs though, man. Oh, and at least it's not gloom. <laughs> Thank god. I got tired of gloom for like three straight floors. Uh, I'm gonna deal with the deer right now.
I'm so afraid of going of accidentally getting behind the gear. Like when you're doing when you're doing uh, the gap closer and displacement. Like it, like it's position might run past you and then it might kick you in the back. That might be that'd be so bad. Twist of feet. Deal with the uh, uh, patrol doesn't. Uh, the patrol's gonna come over here. Oops. I was about to get this. the deer that does something if you stand behind it. I think. Like the mammoth you want to get behind it, that's a that's a different story. You want to be behind this thing. You want to use the cone of Getting like attacked by two different things and in such a tight space. Yeah, you can sometimes cancel autos in, in certain fashions, but it's just not. I mean, I, I still haven't really found a, a, a quite a reliable way yet. Like, like yeah, I just cancel an auto basically. Silver chest. I'm gonna get rid of this now. It's like that's way too much. Like even if I can seal past that, it's gonna be too much. So maybe you'll take what you have done. I know, I know what you mean, Mac. That's one thing I wish we can do in a uh, in Palace. <laughs> uh, <coughs> my 
bad. Ranges, yeah, they'll go they'll go in melee range, but they'll never use melee. So it's, you just have to kind of like they get them in a in a in a decent corner, and you're right. fighting and things are shooting at me, it's like, uh, you yeah. does it again when it doesn't have that thing on then okay. Next floor is flight. I'm gonna alter it. This is where we speed things up. They can miss you, but it's just more complicated when you have a lot of things you're dealing with at the same time. It's 
almost tempting to not burn up my items here, but I don't have to. Okay, there's the exit, that's good to know. So we're gonna check the other one first. I'm gonna affluence the next. I'm glad there's chests in these rooms. Beautiful. Seal, I think, to get to the next room. Because I think there's a hippo in that one. I didn't expect the Petra to be there. Or maybe not. Uh, we're, we're gonna give it one movement and then we're gonna go. Crap. We could. Nope, we're going. <laughs> That's mimics over there. Ooh, that's really good, okay. Well, I mean the flight's like, you know, whatever, because cause I'm just gonna be petroing everything, but I didn't I didn't expect that. Let's try to see if I can conserve my sprint here. Go past that one. Though there, I will say, like there are times when when you do a petrification and you think you've killed a lot, but then all of a sudden you realize like you still need more to kill. That's that's also like really bad. It's like doubly bad. Okay, I'm gonna conserve my spin here. Maybe like maybe this is a magicite that would really save me a lot of time. But uh. gonna get to the chest. Like if I pop the mimic then then we, we go like catch it. I can for instance like even if I aggro this it's okay. Cultivation. Okay, use the catch it now. Okay. Oh wait, I can't. No! Oh crap! That's exactly what I was hoping that wouldn't happen. And I think I left the hippo. <laughs> oh boy. I have witching. Steel? Yeah, I'm gonna get that later. Uh, I'm gonna get that now. I think I left the hippo, right? That's all that's left. for it because that would be tragic. Like like you, you use you use the thing when it does a free fall but it's actually not main that would be like good. Now this does a DPS check and this is one reason why I'm using the witching. So 
course, of course, I left. I left that one enemy, and and that's you know, is what it is. You you run the risk of having to to try to hope for mimics if, if they were gonna spawn, and then uh, yeah. So I'm gonna make sure I dodge people here. I guess technically there's a chance that could be a mimic. Yeah, which of course it was. Of course it was. Why wouldn't it be a mimic? Wasting my time going all the way over there and wasting my time. I think that's exactly how I died on 88 in my last one. I tried to squeeze I, did, I tried to squeeze another DCD in and then I didn't realize my thing went off. How tight? Uh it won't be bad. Well, it depends. I'm gonna I'm gonna really speed this up because I'll I'll magislate. Um, but we're gonna also use a sight just so I know where I'm going. Oh, of course that's, that's, that also happens. Sight, well there's a sight. You can... I think I'll save my serenity and just burn it. I was gonna sight to see where I'm going. Oh, well there's the exit right here. No. Yeah, we're gonna use items in, in, in Fenner because the ma the fight is maximum. Um, it's like maximum 15 without any items, but it's still also a dangerous fight without items. So. I thought about sack, sacking here, but I don't know, it, I think... I, I should still be okay on time.
No, it won't. <laughs> that would have been totally worth it, but it's okay. My time is alright. We have to kind of push a little bit though, so... I'm pushing frailty because I'm gonna because this is kind of less than the amount of damage I'm gonna take until a little bit. So at least I don't have to kind of panic on so. So I'm gonna kill a little bit more change the slower fight. At least we knocked out a lot of it already. So yeah, I mean this should be pretty good on top. As long as I, as long as I remember not to be too risky with my with my stuff. I have to also be wary of the of the frailty when it goes out, etc. Et
think with that trail cable you can see the super tight, so I think it's a little weird. I am a little bit I'm I'm I am uh I'm extremely concerned about my my potions though. Like if I get to 91 I don't know. I don't know if I'll have enough. It's <laughs> gonna be bad. Oh uh, and then to to have to stop at 91? Oh boy. Oh boy. Not the way to go. <laughs> Not the, not the best way to do it. Although I guess that does that does kind of make it somewhat intriguing, I guess. But I have enough for like one set. I have to pick up a lot. One double up on food. So actually, my my set of my my Pullmander set is pretty decent right now. Down one strength is not great. Um, down one frailty is not great. But I have four ways of clearing the floor, so that's not that's not too bad. Also, I have affluence, which is good too. And we are welcomed with apes. Nice. And we are welcome with that too. That's even better. Don't forget racing, don't forget racing, don't forget racing. Almost said a huge no no right there. <laughs> oh crap. Shouldn't reach me this far, right? Oh crap, I hear something. The problem with the apes is that, like, like if you're gonna fight in hallways, they're just not the greatest enemies to, to deal with other stuff. Okay, that helps. 
so I had to thin it out a little bit. <laughs> How many apes can there be? Got that steel up. But my strength is down to one. I'm gonna touch the gold chest first to see if it's anything, and then we'll do, then we'll do the the, the chimera. Yeah, no. Welcome to it's like welcome to the to the horrible floors. That's what that is. But it's kind of expected, really. I got my affluence back. At least I can deal with the the, the chimera without the buffs. Oh, 
and focus. Okay, help. In. That was too bad, 10 minutes. But if you open, I mean, opening up with the Mimic, so... so um, there's one on this floor. Yeah, that's... So hopefully we get no apes, that's what I'm hoping for, no apes. I can deal with everything else, just not the apes. Uh... No, it's flight, man. I don't want to patch you. Uh, I think what I'll do, I'll... Uh, um, I'll probably frailty. I'll probably steal frailty, that's what I'll do. Wow, the chests are just ass. Holy crap. Right, I'm gonna start with the easy one. Yeah, no, ability is doing, but I'd rather not patch you this set of boards. We have an extra steel, so that's okay. And a lot of a lot of the enemies that are around here are all kind of the, the easy ones, so we can kind of just you know just move around. And we're 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 in a nice spot, I guess. I can see I can see the entire floor, so if anything's coming at me, I can at least deal with it. Presumably, I shouldn't need more than four. Any more than four, then it's like I kill myself. Five ways to clear a set though, that's really good. I need a uh, 15 on the boss. I need to bear that in mind, so... I need to strategically use my... <coughs> my remaining clear floors here. If we get a large room, that'll be epic. As long as that's not on a flight, then that will be unepic. <laughs> well, sometimes, it depends. Because sometimes you run into a, a note room, or the AKA treasure room, as some people call it. I'm actually impressed with myself that I remember that this was flight, but I think I always consistently flight uh, on 71, uh, on 81. So. But yeah, that's definitely one thing you, you do want to try to avoid in general. Is um, in my opinion, it's it's a not burn like Petri Magicide when it's a flight floor, except when sometimes in a flight floor a no boom does spawn. So and if it's blocking your entrance, then it's like well. You have no choice. At least you'll get the chests, I guess, but... My turn for- oh, no boons. Nope. You don't deal with them. You run. You- nope. See, treasure rooms are, are such a positive spin to it. It's like, yeah, I guess it's a treasure room, but I mean, look at, like, what's there. There's, like, 20 enemies in one room. It's... No. No thanks. Yeah, nope. Nope, nope, nope. I guess I, I guess I get potrits, which is which is really good. I, I really like I really need potrits. Like I was like this. I really need potrits. Okay, while this still has frailty on. Yeah, I'm just gonna come out to keep it down. 
I'm not gonna risk it. I don't want to risk here. If I have to fight something else, it's gonna be such a time killer. And I need time on the boss. It depends. Um, it's hard to say sometimes. I use it. I use it in conjunction, but it's it, it kind of is kind of an on-call thing. No, what flight does is that it lessens the amount you have to kill, but it, there's also a higher possibility it, 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 it spawns a treasure or a note, which is really weird. Um, yeah, this one we're gonna fetch me. Oh my god, oh my god, this one we're gonna fetch me. With, with, uh, fortune. I just need to be careful I don't kill myself. Like literally, like kill myself. <laughs> That'd be tragic. Okay, I have That's a no. <laughs> Unfortunate, but I'm gonna take the time. Uh, it's a it's some weird thing because I do see more treasure rooms. Uh, I do see more treasure rooms with uh with flight than anything. Else. I don't know. I mean, it could it could just be a, it could just be a, a placebo, but I've always noticed that I get more more of those rooms with flight. Like it's just like outside of flight, I like, like outside of just normal, I don't get them as much. So 
Again, it could just be me because I'm I've I just have really really bad RNG in general. So it's a strong possibility that it's just me, but that's what I've noticed. Nice to get a strength back. And a steel back, very very good. Okay. So here I'll do alteration on the next. Yeah, I use I use I always use the fourth flights, I but in these floors it's a little bit on call. Stop! <laughs> Stop! Uh, oh my god. Oh that is one enemy I cannot deal with. Oh god. Alright. I'm just gonna check the rooms first and then we'll start killing. Yeah, of course it's mimics. Why wouldn't it why would it be anything but mimics? And there's a chest over here. That's a mistake. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, don't go this way. That patrol too, oh crap, it's more patrol. Uh... Another Nobu? No, that's a lot of crap in there. Is that the exit? That's not the exit either. Oh god, look in this direction. <sighs> okay. Hey, Baba. Uh, stressful is an understatement. Wait, something's coming. That's coming, which I don't. That's something I, I guess I don't want to deal with. Well, well, I'm gonna catch it. Dead. All right, I gotta find this exit real fast. I couldn't have killed that enemy. That enemy is just way too risky. I'll get it finally. Okay. I won't try. Okay. 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 Oh, more debuffs. Please, please, please. Alright, that's not terrible. Uh, let me 
I caught them. Thanks for the follow on them. Okay, I see a bunch of patrols. Bad patrols. One of them. For the Cyclops right now. One of the easier enemies to take care of. I mean, she don't kind of. You kind of fight it on the edges, don't fight it in the middle. Because of that move. Even with Steel, kind of hits kind of big, but. But also bear in mind that I do have these two downs at some point. Watch out for that patrol, because that's one nasty patrol. I'll need to be careful cutting this back. Or I just fight it here or something. I do want to cut it back because I I'm kind of blindsided right now. I should be okay because it's gonna hex first, but then I gotta watch out for that. If I can get around this wall, it should be okay if it does tons. Okay, have a lesson. Okay, now I have some view. In case something comes. This thing is nasty. On Summoner, like, I had no problem with it. 
the Titan took the brunt of it. It's like it hits and then it it, it like cleaves or it does a does a double hit with with DOT and then it does a spamming thunder thing, which the thunder isn't so bad, but then it does like electrocution on top of it, so it's like two dots on you. It's just it's just a lot of bad things. On Summoner, like Titan took the brunt of concussion, whatever I think it was concussion. It took concussion, and then like, and then it started spamming thunder on me, so like I could sustain Titan through the dot, and then it's and then it's busy hitting me, so I had I had the potions on me, so it's like it was kind of an easy manage. But like every other job, just I, like I can't, <laughs> just can't, man. I'm gonna lose steel soon. Like it's just so much damage just coming out. Like like it's like a summoner smacking your ass when it's so it's so bad. Do you think? Oh god. Okay, that's too much. Come on. Hits me again, I might die. Okay. Alright, so we might only need to kill like one more, which is good. This thing kind of kind of does its cast on a timer, so if you're standing still, you're gonna just get destroyed. But if you're if you're in motion, as long as like you kind of, I think it's like every I don't know, uh, five, uh, I don't know, like every seven seconds or something. Oh, <laughs> one one interesting note. Um, because I was, I think I was, I think it was this enemy that I was facing on White Mage. Uh, I like, I like toss a sleep just for like shits and giggles, and I think this is sleepable. Like, I don't know, I don't know what you can do with sleep, but you can sleep. It. So, I guess for you White Mages out there, I might die. I need to watch it. Like one more. I to watch this before. It's going down. I'm gonna pull this thing now. And I have to just keep an eye on where the patrol goes. Get it again. These elephants are me. I mean, they're hitting me for 16, so... It's almost more than you can, you can double tier. Almost. 
evasion for the win. I mean, with more space, it's easier. It's just I don't have enough space, obviously. Yeah, glue movement speed. Yeah. What space? Oh man, I angst. Okay. Now we gotta see where that patrol is going. Hopefully, I beat it. On its way back. Okay. Unless it went. Unless it already went the uh, back this way. It probably went back this way already. Oh yeah, yeah. It's right there. Wait, no, no, it's going, oh, it's going up, okay. And something spawned? Oh, I mean. That should be okay, though. Get that chest, it just moved. Oh, it's moving now. Gonna probably consider this a conceal here. Nice. I think I'm gonna sack. That's not the exit. I do have a lot to clear out things. Four champions. More than likely I will Petra first. about to use it. But that's the exit, okay, good. No, wow, no chests. At least I don't have to pop them in there, I guess. I'll take the I'll take the shards though. That's the plus side. Uh, we're gonna likely magicite the next set with chest synchro stuff. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't block my magicite. That'll be. Let's see. Oh, I got something. So what is it? This would be the perfect time. Perfect, perfect time. I'm gonna check the chest first. If anything bad shows up, then uh, we're gonna do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope for like a mimic or something. Uh, we will, we will summon it, and we will fortune. And we're gonna check all the chests. Oh, oh, safety, safety, safety. <laughs> so running around, stepping on, on traps. Be careful, don't aggro anything, especially the manticore. Oh god, okay. Wow, there's a lot of chests, holy crap. Affluence that actually worked for once. There's the mimic. Okay, 
Any mimic that spawns now, we will kill. We'll pop a steel for it. Especially because we have the space to do so. Come on. Don't tell me like one side of the room only had chests. That would be so bad. So mean also. We gotta surrender you back at least. Man, really? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Nothing. That was like the gold, that was like the golden opportunity. Like, literally. And it didn't really give me that much, that sucks. Man, that sucks. I got some good ones back though. Damn, that kinda sucks. Wow. Alright. Nice. <sighs> no debuffs here. Oh, psych, we got glue. Gonna patch you here. Steel. Oh my god! I'm kidding. Me. Okay, I left the Cyclops at least, I guess. And I found the exit. Let me check this chest real quick. Of course it detonates. I do realize I have a raising, I just took a look. I don't think I'll use it. If I die, then I die. I mean, if, if I don't have a raising in any one, it's, it's it's almost like a waste of a run too, so I'm gonna try to save that raising. Unless, I, unless something really hits the fan, then... Silver or something. That's a silver. Uh, I'm gonna 
step over here first. I'm gonna magic sight the next floor and then we're gonna strength steal to get through the boss with frailty. God. Maggie, hey, should I? What do you think? I'm just gonna do it. Question is, can I get to the other side? Can I get to exit? No, that's not. Yeah, worth it. Yeah, it was. That's what you Actually, I'm gonna save it for, um... I'm gonna save it for an enemy. I'm gonna manage like the next. We won't have anything in 91, but it's... At least we can, we can kill things in 91. I mean, what's the, what I'm getting hit with here is just kind of... Oh my god, just, this is so bad. I'm gonna have the Magicite without fortune. Do I really want to do that? Yeah, it's a last boy, whatever. I might get lucky. Do you want to see if I can... Uh, yeah, let's hope for chests. There's like a lot of things died. It's a lot of jobs. Did you have, Biggie, did you have like three Magicites going into 91? Just crazy. <laughs> I have nothing going into 91. It's all, it's all RNG from here on out. That was witching, right? Yeah, was witching. 13 minutes. Uh, three mag- yeah, Jesus. Was that, but was that on your winning run? I have, I have zero and zero. <laughs> Got that RNG man. Yeah, that, that definitely helps. I'm gonna frail T and I will steal, but it should be all I need. Oh, was that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was when you. I saw that, that clip that you used one and then you died and it didn't go off.
enough space to move here. No sweat, no sweat. I think I've only seen one med, like since probably about 440. I think I've seen one med just like. So, uh, yeah, RNG man. So easy. Me and RNG just, just don't get along. <laughs> we just don't get along. I don't know what I did to it. There's always a chance, right? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta play the game to see what happens. But yeah, I know that was beautiful. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. 
Only one way to find out is to actually get there. I'm instinctually jumping thinking that if the dust thing goes off, I'd actually jump over it. Does anyone else do that? Like, like do you do you actually like like if you're if you're about to get hit by something, like you just instinctually jump. Like but it's not like you're not gonna you're not gonna survive. So you jump because maybe like you jump over it. Maybe maybe it happens below you. like a like a panic thing. Like Twenty should be okay. Like my time should be. Okay. I don't need to pop anything. Else. Oops, that's not good. God, the crits. The crits. Stop. The crits.
Oh shit! No, I'm dead! Oh my god, really? That ball was still there! I went the wrong way. Wow, what a way to die. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, boy. Okay. That ball was still there, I can't believe it. I thought it was gone. That sucks. I couldn't get out. Oh well. Let's try again. We'll do... It has to go to attempt number 12, guys. That sucks. At least I'll have at least I'll have potions. That's not that's, that's good. I can't believe that ball still had another another charge. That's incredible. Wow. Man, I get I tell you man, that RNG is just everywhere. It doesn't matter what it is. Southwest. Yeah, I just didn't think the ball would still be there. Like, I, I, I would have figured by Burning Wave it would have been all gone, but it still had one more pump and it kicked me. Is it always the safe spot? I'll keep that in mind. Wait, no, wait. No, I guess, yeah, that's true. Oh, no, wait, run. Run, wait. See, in Chicago, run northeast. Northeast is always there. Oh. Well, that's probably just some experience knowing that that spot's always safe. I did notice there was somewhat of a pattern with the balls. But, okay, I'll remember that the next time. Hmm. It's okay. I, I mean, I. You know, I'm getting better, I think, with. I'm getting a little bit better with the Bowman and management. I'm still not getting to 91 with a good amount of stuff, but that's just up to RNG. Um, I had pretty good RNG getting through the floor, so we, we... I mean, I'm consistently getting to at least 90. I should have cleared that, but... It's alright. I'm just gonna have to farm... I, I'll get I'll get another run up, and then I'll farm, uh, I'll farm more potions. Uh, yeah, that sucks. <laughs> uh, that sucks. That was like, last minute time, and then boom, pop. Oh well. It's okay. We'll we'll try again. We'll try again. We'll push it through. We'll do another game. So, uh, but uh, it's okay. It's it's all it's all it's all a fun it's all a fun experience, guys. But uh, okay. Well, we're gonna stop the stream. Yeah, it was it was all kinds of bad. I mean, I had it probably another another G City or two, and then it was. I mean, the, the time was obviously running out, but I was okay on time. Um, I thought I managed that time kind of perfectly. It was just yeah, I didn't. I mean, if I ran left, I would have been fine. I just didn't think there would still be a ball there, and nor did I think it would hit me. So that was just like the worst, the worst possible scenario, which is hilarious. But uh, okay, well, I appreciate you guys watching another night of uh, another night of an attempt to clear for World Fifth. Now uh, we will do it uh, another time. So stay tuned. I'm happy that I can just get to 90 each time. It is stressful, but we get there consistently. We, we get better and better each time, so... Um, yeah, yeah, right, Maggie? Okay. Well, alright guys, have a, have a good night. I'll catch you guys another time. Peace.